These are new songs from a new uh, work of mine, uh, which is, I've been working on for 33 years. I'm finally finished with my Ballad of the West and finishing this third and final epic about Buffalo Bill. And some of these songs t today have to do with uh, heroes uh, being about Buffalo Bill, but they work for John Henry Falk as well, I think. Of course, he was a hero of all of ours. This is a song called Dime Novels. who you are A prisoner of the game A beating expectation Well learn how to pretend To be a star Shining in the darkness And the shadow Mysteries, wishes into life. Writing on the name, he let that pony run free. burned into one His freedom found in fame His fortune and celebrity Reflected his acclaim Back to everyone Shining in the darkness And the shadow Mysteries, wishes into life. Riding on the hopes and dreams of heroes turning. Mysteries, wishes into Mysteries, wishes into life. Writing mysteries, wishes into life. Thank you. I'm going to do this one for uh, a special friend uh, who's here, because uh, I know he went. I've already been teasing him from the stage, but I miss him dearly. I haven't seen him in a long time, and I know he loves this part of the world that I love so much, called the Yellowstone country. This is for Cactus. It's called Absaroka.
that debt get by. Majestic mountains rise to heaven, kiss the clouds as they go drifting by. Golden eagle soaring upward, drawing lazy circles in the sky. To the high plains of Absaroka. We're going to start this one over. That jet got me messed up. Majestic mountains rise to heaven, kiss the clouds as they go drifting by. Golden eagle soaring upward, drawing lazy circles in the sky. The sings of wildness, the prairie sings of space, the river sings of freedom, the wind sings with grace, sing with grace. I'm bound for Yellowstone and the high plains of Absaroka. Canyons beckon with all mysteries and riddles etched in time. Luscious, pristine valleys welcome wondrous light images sublime. The wood sings of growing, sings of birth. The rock sings of endurance, the heavens sing of earth, sing of earth. And when I'm overburdened, in need of spiritual repair, I simply close my eyes, open my heart, and I am Colors dance across the sky in every sunrise and sunset, taking mortal breath away, gazing at the heavenly palace. And sings of working, the spirit sings of hope, sing of hope. High plains of Absaroka. I'm bound for Yellowstone in the high plains of Absaroka. Thank you. You've been listening to one of the unique talents of America, Bobby Bridger, and let's hear it for music appreciation, huh? Bobby was one of uh, John Henry's favorite entertainers. Uh, he loved not only Bobby's voice, but his 
sense of history and his sense of human dignity that he has incorporated in so many of his songs. And Bobby, where are you? Over here. John Henry, was no, he, he loved your music, and he was no slouch in music appreciation. I never will forget the first time I went to New York and visited with he and his roommate, Alan Lomax. And they had uh, a trio of singers there that uh, supposed to have a pretty good future. One of them was a guy from Jamaica named Harry Belafonte. And there was a guy with a guitar who wanted all right. His name was Woody Guthrie. And um, another fellow, a uh, woman actually, named Joan Baez. And whatever happened to them? I can't think of a finer tribute to this lover of books, John Henry Falk, than this naming in his honor. He loved books as much as he hated the censorship of them. He shared his beloved mentor, J. Frank Doby, in the attitude that there was no difference in Hitler burning books and the state of Texas banning them. And to exclude the word evolution from the Texas school books proved that man did indeed descend from the apes and damn recently. <laughs> this is a song for John Henry, and it's, uh, it's actually from my new play called Pahaska, but it's about heroes, and uh, as I definitely consider this man to be one of our heroes around here, this is called, let's say John Henry had a good heart. <laughs> like a drum inside us burning with life's fire instinctive forces push and guide us bring action to desire the rhythm opens doors to vision inside is where it starts we listen to the drum There will appear a hero burning with life's fire, directed as the archer's arrow brings action to desire. His vision gives us doors of freedom, inspiring us to start. He dances with the drum. Come and heroes go, burning with life's fire. Sometimes they lead, sometimes they follow, bring action to desire. But when the hero makes his exit, his time comes to
lot of stuff going on here today, and so uh, we're going to leave the stage and make it vacant for some of the festivities that are about to begin. I'd like to thank John Main on the bass for playing with me today, and also Mark Viator on the guitar. like to tell you the story of how I first met John Henry Falk. Uh, it was during 1983, and there was a campaign on to get Austin involved in a giant lignite plant and to strip mine out in Bastrop County. And a small group of citizens thought this was a bad idea and campaigned against that, there being a bond election coming up in the fall of 83. And uh, we were a shoestring operation. In fact, we were described by one local political who was an opponent of ours as six hippies on bicycles. And while that was a derogatory statement, it was true. That's how we got around, basically. And uh, we, we were really a shoestring operation and quite a sorry lot. I had already lost three races by 1983. And we asked John Henry to help us raise funds at a musical benefit show at Soap Creek Saloon when it was so on South Austin, uh, on South Congress at Academy. And astonishingly enough, John Henry Falk said yes, he would help us. He didn't like the idea of lignite. He didn't like the idea of strip mining, this beautiful Central Texas uh, country that he loved so. And yes, he would help us pathetically underfunded underdogs to fight this uh, huge battle. And uh, he was a great success that evening. He emceed the show, and of course, uh, we won the election. The citizens turned down the lignite plant, and uh, yeah, way to go, John Henry. <laughs> and John Henry uh, really taught me a lot in that campaign, and, uh, and really how to stand up for what is right, and he'll continue to inspire people for ages to come now with the naming of this Central Austin facility uh, after him. Just one other little thing, and that is to make the record absolutely clear, as uh, Liz indicated, Chip Harris, the chairman of the Library Commission, way to go, Chip, uh, came to my office, one of our regular uh, meetings, and said that the Library Commission had recommended that we name this library after John Henry Falk. What did I think of that idea? I thought it was a great idea, and I said I would enlist the support of another South Austinite my friend and colleague Jackie Goodman, to put it on the agenda. And we did, and as Liz indicated, the vote was unanimous. Isn't that something? Way to go, John Henry.
have the unveiling of the new John Henry Falk Library. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being friends. And let's open it up, Mayor. I knew a man who had it all for a while. He was smart, fair, and handsome with a genuine smile. Everybody that met him found nothing to hide. But while still a young man with so much ahead, he just laid down and he died. Nothing at all. No one to catch her, she had a sad fall. But while on the bottom, oh, she learned how to see. And today she is flying, teaching her brothers that they can be free. She sings there. We had visions that dream. All the people were equal, or so it all seemed. We hear you, John Henry, but gaining oneness with our fellow man. It's no use just not knowing the spirit of oneness we share with the land. I know her people beginning to learn. It all moves together, the wheel always turns. And we must act swiftly, but also oh carefully too. And if we are honest and learn to believe, we might continue. Thank you all. Long live John Henry Hafalk. <laughs>